Hello, hello, everybody. And this is my new Moth Guppy Pond, the DIY filter that I did about, I think I looked it up today and it was exactly six weeks ago that I did a DIY filter on how I made the filter. And then I showed it filling it up with moss and then I put some guppies in there talk a little bit about them guppies so i want to give you all an update on just how this thing is doing a month and a half in for today's video so the main purpose of this is to be my moss pond so i have all these shrimp tanks and i use the same pilo moss in all the tanks because this moss does so good in all my tanks it varies how it looks in according to the light intensity is it exposed to and sometimes it can get shaded out by itself or even other plants and so it can look a little different but i go through and cycle tank i plant it up with the moss let it go for six months to a year or so and then i pull out all the shrimp reset the shrimp line and then i pull out like 75 percent of the moss and before i was just loading it up in five gallon buckets <laughs> before I just loaded it up in five gallon buckets and that was getting to be a pain in the butt so I needed have, I had a whole bunch of tanks so I'm always resetting tanks full of moss so I needed somewhere to store moss before I sold it on my website markshellyaquatics.com and so this thing has served its purpose beautifully I throw all every time I work on a tank I throw all the moss in here and as you can see it greens because some of it you know when I pulled out some of it's kind of brownish from being shaded out or covered in other moss so I put the brownish parts on top and then those green up right away and so I have this thing look at this look at how much moss is in here now it's like that all the way through. So this thing's probably about a foot deep. And I'd say eight of it, eight to nine inches of it, sometimes ten inches of it is just a is a thick mat moss. Thick mat of moss. <laughs> so the coolest thing about this project in my opinion was this hook and feed I found at Tractor Supply. It's a tractor and farm store here in the Midwest. I don't know where all they're located at, but check this out. Now they struggled the first two or three weeks because the cats, especially the green ones, the cats really liked messing with the green ones. They really did. So they were a little slow to get going. But these little red ones, they started growing pretty much from the get-go. And they are doing magnificent. You can tell the cat, I think the cat jumped in there a while back and smashed the middle down. But I've gr it's grown back like this one right here got smashed down and few dead leaves on it but then it just bent over and started coming right back up so these plants were called phytonias they're two different species obviously but they're just labeled i think they're i don't remember what they're labeled you might be able to go back and check the video <laughs> but these things are gorgeous and I, I did some reading up on them and the better light they get the better their colors and you can see the new leaves look better than the old leaves. So that's pretty cool. These things are doing good. The filters, I haven't had to do anything to the filter. So that's sweet. This thing is doing really good. So now let's talk about the guppies if they're not all hiding right now. But if we look, we'll be able to see lots of fry. Of course, this moss. There's one. 
So, oh, here's a whole bunch of them over here. And as soon as I start moving this way, they're all scattered. <laughs> so with all this moss, it makes an ideal spot for these guppies. And these guppies are my attempt to create my own line. And I found what I was looking for, a Japan blue body with a red mosaic tail in my guppy pond. And I said, that is beautiful. These guys are awesome. I had like four or five of them I saw. And I was like, I got to try to do something with those guys. So I separated them out and put them with some young, super young female virgin red mosaic, red mosaic females. I have Japan blue and red mosaic lines. And I've always wanted to create a line with a Japan blue body and a red mosaic tail. And I think I started this, that project about a year ago. And to my surprise, when those red mosaic females grew up and they started getting pregnant, every single fry so far of uh, that group had grown up to have a Japan blue body and a red mosaic tail. So then when I realized that every single fish that that group had produced was something along these lines. Of course, this is one that I've selected to keep going. I then reset everything, got rid of all the ugly ones. They all went and, uh, but they all had these traits to some extent. So I just called for the quality of like the, the blue on the body and the, the coloring and, you know, the consistency of the coloration on the tail. Man, uh, oh, it was all I've had the, those two lines of the, the red mosaics and the blue J Japan blues. I've had both those lines for years and years, and I always wanted to do it. And so now I've done it. And so now I've successfully made the line that breeds true. So now I just got to work and work and work and make them better and better and better. So even though all I do is shrimp now, <laughs> I like to have little projects like this to keep it interesting. So what I'm doing now, I'm working on producing these. So I still have the original 20 gallon I started these guys in. That I took out all the fish except for the fry and left the one male in there, the absolute best male. And then I took the, like place Places second through like six went in the pond with a bunch of nice young females. And so now anytime a fry, I see a fry developing his colors or that he is for sure a male. I bring him, I started putting some guppies in this tank where I'm breeding my red shrimp and blue jelly shrimp in jungle vow. And anytime I see a male start coloring up, We'll put him in here, and so then this will end up being an all-male tank. And then when my male breeders start getting old and not doing the job no more or die, then I can select the, the future breeder from here. So that is the plan, so I can get the best guppies that I can make with the situation I'm dealing with. But it's all doing good. All right, so let's put this guy back in his moss pond. Look at that beautiful fish. I enjoy these guys from the pond view as well. So there's a bunch of fry right there. Every time I'm, oh, they're like, oh, God, don't get me. They're all, there's tons of them. There's dozens of little baby guppies in here. So I'm super excited about this. As far as the business goes, the Moss Pond has very been has been a very good decision. It's worked out awesome when I sell my moss. And then I get to play with my guppies in here and they're doing so good. I'm so excited about this project. Thank you guys for watching with me. Bye.